refrigerator, and now this goes to PBSO. And in, in six months, I'll get a result. What's the deal six with six months? Six months. Six probably. months. Now, you guys get a warrant, we have to draw again. I never heard of that part. So I don't think we're gonna draw again. I think I'm just gonna get a warrant as like okay. a double fuck you to this guy. Yeah. That's so right. I mean, he's facing 20 years to. Yeah. I mean, right now. Right. Yeah. So, and if it's DUI man, which it's gonna come back. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 25 to life. Yeah. So, yeah, his whole it, this guy's fucking done. Yeah. His entire life. I'm sure, I'll, I'm sure I'll be seeing you in court. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Texas Chris, coming back again with another video. And today, as you can see by the title, we'll be reacting to Drunk Man Doesn't Realize He Just Ended Someone's Life. R.I.P. Uh, let's get right into it. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. Maybe that's all right. Let me know. Turn this down a little bit. Delta 297 with the suspect. Oh, that's Where is he right now? Where is he right now? Where is the part? The QX80, the blue one that just got smacked. This one? Okay. Do me a favor, stand by. Let me let me contact with them and the officer will on the way, okay? Come here. Hello? How are you doing? All right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm right. Do you need any medical attention? No. Okay, do you have your ID on you, sir? Is he drunk or I'll nervous? Wait a second, okay? Or both, probably. Is that your vehicle, the Blue yeah. Infinity? You have your weapon on you? No. This is your CCW, okay? Oh, yeah. driver's license right there. Okay, got this. Thank you. Oh, oh, don't. Sorry. You okay? Oh, yeah, he's. Here. He's. Oh, don't fall. Hooked. I'm going to sit you in my vehicle so you don't fall, okay? That's a trap. I hear you. Hold oh, on. he's drunk. I'm just going to check you for any weapons, okay? <laughs> yeah, he's huh? cooked. This way? Okay, I'm going to sit you in my vehicle with AC, okay? You're not in handcuffs or anything. Okay. No, the front seat is crazy. Right here, though. The back seat protocol. I know my stuff. Yes, sir. An officer is going to come talk to you about it. I'm just standing by. I guess there was an accident. So, yeah. I'm just waiting for them, okay? Yeah. The reason I saw you here is because I didn't want you to fall. Okay? Yeah. You okay? You need medics? What do you say? I'm not asking you any questions or anything, okay? I know. Once the officer comes to talk to I don't to know you, what's going on. Okay. Yeah, buddy, They'll we can tell. Everything. Like I said, I'm we can most definitely tell, until buddy. The officer gets here, Thank and you. then he'll explain everything, okay? Yep. All right, where did this guy get struck? Up here. Huh? That's, where, that's, where he's, that's where he's up at. Uh -huh. As of right now, I don't, I don't, I don't have anybody who saw the accident. I have a right. witness who said right. that he saw the body. So that's the driver of the car. No, the driver of the or, car. Well, that's the car that hit him, or no? no? That's that's a witness. That's a witness. So the driver, I'm guessing, is the one that's all the way up there. That's the yeah. Okay. So this is a witness. This guy got hit. Yep. Somewhere actually the back knee. He can't, he can't confirm or deny if he was if the bike was traveling east or west. So like if you got oh, clipped, he was on the but body. he just saw the body but he's saying so it, it was about sad. a year, give or take anyway. Yep. All right. All righty, sir. Thank you for, so much for hanging around. Um, you're Gerard? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I have, I have my uh, THI unit coming out. I'm gonna um, ask you what happened. I'm going to give him a call, and then I'm going to see if I can release you because I have your information, okay? Uh, if, that he, means... if he does good. Yeah. So, Who's coming? it's basically traffic homicide investigator. It's coming out, so I'll just give him a call. I'll find out from you what happened, be able to tell him what's going on, and then we'll probably be able to release you, okay? Yeah. Can, you, can you tell me what happened? I'm uh, just driving behind a, a BMW, and the car in front of him was a black car. I don't know what vehicle it was. 
I saw three fly up. I didn't know what it was. Um, and the car behind him swerved, and I looked over and I seen him. You know, he flew through the air. I didn't know it was a body until I thought it was just debris. Um, I looked over, and he was face down. I pulled mm. over immediately, ran over to him, you know, and uh, called EMS. That's it. Okay. Thank you for the and, you know, then a couple, a couple people stopped after the fact that were behind me, and, and they, they helped. Did you see the bicyclist, bicyclist driving? Was it is a male? I take it a male. Yeah. Seeing someone that is no longer alive, like not even at a funeral, like seeing someone that's not even alive anymore, like that's real sad. Like that's something that's gonna stick with you like for almost your whole entire life, bro. Like you can just be like having a good day and you like. You just moving some stuff, like moving some stuff, and you like everything going fine. And you just think of that one moment of where you seen that person that wasn't alive, that wasn't able to move their hands, that wasn't able to speak, that wasn't able to, to breathe, talk, whatever. Like that's like one of the saddest things that you can ever have stored in your memory, bro. Oh, that's that feeling sucks. Okay. And I know he's about to go home and just no, think I, I about everything that just happened. Okay. And he was just having a like random like normal all day. I saw was Random normal day, bro. Debris. That's what okay. it looked like. I hate that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm yapping a little bit. No, no, all his bikes. His, his stuff. All that? You started yeah. seeing all that? That, that, okay. that was... That got hit by the car. I didn't know what it was until I saw the body, and then I realized it was somebody on the bike. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, let me give a call because, like you said, you didn't actually see the, the accident, but you did see you know, some of the debris going on. Going on and oh, all I saw stuff. the accident. You, what, what car was that that hit it? Huh? What color car was it that? Um, was, a, was that that BMW that you was talking about or the black? Uh, the BMW was behind the one that hit it. It was a black SUV. Okay. The drunk guy. So freaking sad. Which Can't lane were you guys in? Like this, alcohol, this, bro. this lane right here? Okay. Do not drink and drive. I didn't see the... I didn't see him. The bicycle Until right. it happened. And then you saw him right. flying in the air, kind of over to this side? Right. A little more? Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright. Like I saw it get hit, but I didn't know it was somebody, a person, until I saw him on the ground. Was he I moving around or I he just kind of laid no, still? No, was totally, totally out there. Okay. So you don't know if he was traveling eastbound he or if he was traveling west? The, the bicyclist was traveling eastbound? I believe so. So he was coming towards traffic? I believe so. But, I don't know. Like you said, I, you I, you I, saw I, him couldn't, I couldn't tell you what, which way he was traveling. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, like I said, let me make my call in, and then I'll see if I can release you. At this point, uh, I'm going to take a sworn tape statement from you. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is I will have you raise your right hand and swear, swear that what you're going to tell me is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, it is. Okay. You're coerced in any way. No, okay. And we currently are in the front seat of my patrol vehicle, which is uh, about a quarter mile um, east of State Road 7 on Okeechobee Boulevard. Um, all right, Mr. King, um, you were driving your vehicle on Okeechobee? Heading westbound. Heading westbound. Where were you coming from? Coming from Okay. Bro, that's not your, your business. <laughs> no, I was just like, this is a serious man. Let me know you, please. Just to the left of the far right lane. Okay. When you were traveling on Okeechobee, what did you see? I saw the blue SUV. Um, there was a few cars ahead of me. Uh, I also saw a bicy what I thought was a bicycler. And this blue SUV swerved and hit him. Where was the bicyclist? He was, from what I remember, he was in this bike lane. So, the bike lane, if you're heading westbound on Okeechobee, which you were, yeah. there's the middle of the road, and then the, the, the bicycle lane would be outside of the, 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 the outside lane, correct? correct. Closest to the, the, the grassy edge of the road. Correct. Okay. And the cyclist was riding in that bicycle lane? In that lane. Okay. So, the blue SUV struck the cyclist, which you, you witnessed him strike the cyclist? Yes, I did. Did you see what he was doing before? Did you notice anything that he maybe was doing while he was driving that seemed odd or I out just, of place? I thought it was kind of odd that he swerved into the towards the bike lane. So, was he swerving before you saw him swerving into the bike lane? I don't recall. 
I don't I don't know if I was paying attention at that point. Where was that V? Where was the blue SUV at? He was nah, cause real talk, I get what he mean. Like sometimes I'll be just driving and like so zoned out. Or, like even if it's at night, like I'm not drunk though or nothing like that. Like under the influence. Of, but like if I'm just driving. I'll be so zoned out, but like I'm driving and I know what's going on. And then it'll be like two, three minutes later, and I'm like, "Did I run that red light back there?" Or like, like what was I just thinking like two minutes ago? You know what I mean? Like I'll be so zoned out, but like in the moment I'm fine. But like other times I'm just like, "What actually just happened?" But thank God I haven't been in any accidents or nothing like that. But like. It's nothing like bad, but it's just like I know everybody else does it. Like it has, like it, there's no way it's just me. Cause I know it's eight billion people in this world, and there's no way I'm the only Close one to think like that. Meet in the bike lane. Next to the bike lane. Okay, so he swerves basically right to the right. Okay, into bike lane. Then he struck the cyclist, which you observed. Yes. What did he do after he made impact with the cyclist? Um, he kept going. Okay. Did he stop at all? Do anything? No. Look back? Turn around? No. Not, not to my. I, I couldn't really see his face at that point, but I remember saying to myself, "He did. Why isn't he stopping?" Why? Okay. Okay. And what did you do when he wasn't stopping? Um, I, I think instantly after it happened, I was looking to see where what happened to the bicyclist. I, I, I don't know where he went. Okay. Um. After that, again, I'm saying to myself, why isn't this guy stopping? He's not stopping. Um, at that point, I grabbed my phone. I was panicking. I'm trying to get 911 on the okay. line. Okay. Um, I called him, just let him know I just witnessed a hit and run. Okay. Um, and at that point, I mean, it wasn't like he was speeding off away from me or anything. He just kept going. Uh, so I started to pull up next to him as I had 911 on the phone and I noticed this other guy here he was actually behind him and it looked like he was doing the same thing he's you know had his phone in his hand and, and it looked like he's trying to give him tag information okay um, at that point I I was side by side of this guy again in the middle lane I rolled down my window I think I was honking my horn and I you know signaling to him you know to pull, pull over. over okay and he actually pulled over okay so after he pulled over what did you do um, I pulled my car in over here by the McDonald's, and he actually got out of his car, started walking towards me, and he goes, what did I do wrong? Um, you know, what did I do? Um, and I said, uh, you just hit somebody. Yeah, he's drunk. And, Most definitely. And then we just kind of stood there. I still had 911 on the phone, and I was letting him know that, you know, he pulled over. He's here. He's pulled over. You know, can you get somebody over here? Um, at that point... Uh, we, we were kind of just standing on the side of the road, and I noticed he started to actually walk back to the car. He was the only person that was in the vehicle? I didn't see anybody else. Yeah. Was he behind, and he was behind the driver's, in the driver's seat behind the wheel at the time of the crash. Yes. He was the only person in the vehicle when the vehicle stopped and you observed it. I mean, he got, Nobody yeah, else got he out. was the one driving. When I rolled down my window and told him to pull over, he was the one behind the wheel. Okay, and what did he look like? Um, it looked like he had shorter hair. Um, white male, black male. He was a white male. Okay. Did he say he say anything to you other than? Um, other than? How did you, you try to stop me? Or yeah. No. You, um, you know, he might have said that. I don't recall. I do know he did say. What did I? Um, what did he, he said? Uh, what did I do? Is what he said. Okay. So he pulled into McDonald's. He got out. And he was kind of a little wobbly on his feet. Okay. Um, wobbly how? Uh, just not walking straight. Okay. Like stumbling? Yeah, I guess you could say that, yes. Okay. What did he do after um, he was outside of the vehicle? Um, he kind of stood. I told him, stand right here. You know, I had a 911 on the call, and they were asking to kind of describe him, and uh, they asked what, you know, pro his approximate age. And uh, I actually just asked him, you know, what's your age? How old are you? And he actually told me 43, so I told that Damn. to the, the uh, 911 op operator. And uh, he actually started to go back to his car, and I was like, hey, yeah, stay right here. And, and the 911 operator said, you know, hey, you know, if he gets in his car, just let him go. You know, I, and she, he asked if he had weapons. I said, no. I said, I, you know, he just looks to be intoxicated, and that's what I told her. 
Okay. To the best of my recollection. Okay. So, um, uh, at this point, shout we're out to Buddy for. Oh, right I hand. can't even say man, right Buddy. But shout out to him for telling the truth for real, because like you don't know, like he got this man off the street, and that man is a real harm to society. Like no, no, no jokes, bro. Like no jokes. He's a real harm to society. Like he literally unalived somebody. I don't think you understand like how serious that is. Like he unalived somebody. He took somebody's childhood. He took somebody's son. Somebody's husband. Somebody's friend bro like that's so sad like when you take a life when it's not self-defense that's probably one of the worst things you can do in life you can't come back to it yep can't redo point, it um do you swear to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so god yep. yes okay um you weren't coerced in any way to give any statement no nope. it's not of your own free will yep okay you put your hand down okay. okay um tell me where you were coming from just love work i did two hours overtime coming home Okay. Take extension home. You were westbound on Okeechobee? Yes, sir. You were driving a vehicle? Yep, my F-150. You were the only person that was in the vehicle? Yep. Okay. What did you see while you were driving and you're heading westbound? Um, First of all, I noticed he was going slower than traffic, but he was swerving back and forth. Who, who was going slower than traffic? The QX80. The blue SUV? Yes, sir. Blue Infinity SUV? And okay. I realized that. I just assumed he was on his phone like everybody else. Okay. And I get in the other lane to get around him, get around him safely. I just tried to look over to see if he was... He looked normal. I didn't notice anything. Okay. And until I saw him start swerving into my lane. Okay. And where where was your vehicle at? I was in the, the middle lane almost. The one towards the... Where was he at? He was in the slow lane. The slow lane closest to like where the bicycle lane is yeah, on the was outside of the road? weaving mm. back and forth. In kinda. that lane? Okay. Yeah, I thought he was just playing on his phone like I said. Okay. But... The man as that as I, got unalive took his last bicycle run and he didn't even know it, bruh. Because I was maybe a car or two behind him. I got over. He swerved halfway into my lane. Okay. I thought playing on his phone. I just kind of beeped at him. And he straightened up. And after that, it was just a explosion of parts. And Okay. What, what Did you see what happened? What do you mean an explosion of parts? Uh, it sounded like a tire explosion, like on a semi-truck. Okay. And all I saw was red chunks. Like, I don't know if it was the victim or... What, what was it a uh, what did he hit? It was definitely on the bike. A person on a on a bicycle. Yes. Okay. Where was the person on the bicycle at? He was on the bicycle lane. In the bicycle lane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how fast do you think you were going? About fifty five. About fifty five. We were stuck in traffic, so it wasn't going very fast. Okay. So fifty five isn't how fast you would you would you would figure that you were going. That's mm -hmm. about how fast you figured he was going. Yep. Okay. So he swerved right into the bicycle lane and struck the cyclist. All of a sudden, I see parts flying. Okay. It sounded like a tire explosion. What happened after uh, the Blue Infinity struck the cyclist? He did not stop. Okay. Didn't st step on the brakes, no, didn't pull no over. Regard. Like, he was, he, at that, that moment I realized he was on something because that's not okay. a normal human reaction to any accident or incident. Okay. Yeah. And then I proceeded to lay on the horn and be like, hey, I was like something, I thought his tire blew up at first because I saw just chunks. Right. And then I saw the damage on the car and... The bike laying off to the side on the rear view. Okay. So what did you then do? I followed him, proceeding to lay on the horn. The guy in the the silver aqua green Camry. The other gentleman. Yes, the other gentleman. He was probably a car a lane away from me. He saw everything happen too, and he proceeded to get in front of him in case he tried to. Okay. And what did the person in the blue Infinity do when you were behind him and the other vehicle was in front of him? He just stopped as soon as he came over here. It okay. was really delayed though. Did you stay in the vehicle, or did you get out and make contact with the driver? Did the driver get out of the vehicle? The driver so, uh, got out to... The driver of the Infinity got out? Yes. What did he do after he got out of the He vehicle? was just kind of looking over his vehicle. Okay. So, but I was on the phone with this, or uh, 911. Okay. And I was just trying to get plate numbers, just, I guess you could say, kind of get something in order to get somebody over here. Okay. D1 was looking at the damage on his vehicle. Yep. And did then, he say anything to you? No, but when he, he hopped out, he stumbled. Okay. Mm. That's another. So he stumbled like he was yeah. having a hard time walking? Did he He's do it once or did he do it a bunch of drunk. times? He did it a bunch of times. And Locked this dude up for I life. The second time, mm -hmm. the previous guy that also pulled in front of him, he was talking to him, and he told me to call again because he started to get, like, hostile. Okay. Like he wanted to leave. The... Okay. All right. So he stumbled, and then you just stood by until police arrived? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you had any weapons. Y'all see what time it is? This is a guy. Look at this. 
That's the grind. Y'all see where Dallas is? 2.40 a.m. That's nothing but the grind. I know that was so random, but it's nothing but the grind. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. 2.40. That's nothing but the grind, bro. I just didn't want to get myself in that. Okay. All right, peace Did you do anything else or say anything else to him? No, I didn't talk to the victim or the guy that drove the car. Okay, so you didn't talk to anybody. You just, you just, he pulled over. You got behind him. You watched him get out. You stayed on the phone with this. Yep, bitch. I just stayed on the phone. With him. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that uh, you think that I need to know that maybe perhaps I didn't ask you or that you didn't tell me in reference to this investigation? No, I can say no. Okay, perfect. At this time, I'm going to end this uh, statement. The time is eight zero seven. Yes. Okay. Um, run me through real quick what happened. Are you okay first off? Do you need a water or anything? I'm all right. I have a water. Okay, you got a water? We had a horrible accident. I don't really know what happened. Okay. Was... Mm. How do you not know, you what, know what happened, happened? bro? No. Okay. You were, you were driving? Okay, you were the only person that was driving? I was the only person that was driving. Okay. Trying. Where were you heading to? Heading home. Heading home? Where were you coming from? My work. Your work? What do you do for work? I'm an arms dealer. An arm, like firearms? Yeah. Okay. No weapons on you or anything, right? No. Okay. No. Um, in reference to uh, work, where, where, where is work exactly at? Uh, Congress Avenue. Congress Del, Avenue? Delray Beach. Okay. And you were going home then, you said? Okay. Um, and you said there was now an accident. You're you were going to jail. You were the now only you're going to jail. Now you're going to jail. Hey. Now you're going to, to, going to jail. And I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, uh, so you stopped here. Why did you stop here? I just, or how did you know that you had an accident? I, I heard the crash and, and uh, I stopped. You stopped? That ain't what That's everybody else saying, bro. You're a cook. Okay. Yeah. It was a, a lot of shock and I don't, I don't know. Okay. Do you have any um, medical ailments or anything? No. No? Um, do you, were at the doctor's office today or the dentist for anything? No? Um, do you take any medication for anything? I take a lot of medication. Are you things, taking but, any medication right now or on any medication right now? Uh, I mean, I, I take medication daily, take, but nothing. Okay. What kind of medication? Um, He's avoiding the question. Abuse for own, uh, uh, I, I don't know, a few, a few different things. A lot of different things? Okay. Do, yeah. you, do you drink socially? Socially. Socially. Yeah. Have you had anything to drink today? No. No? Nothing? Okay. Did no. you take that medication today? Yeah. What time did you take that? But you don't remember what it was? No, I, I don't know, man. Okay. I'm not trying to be difficult with you. I'm just, you know. Okay. Well, I, 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 I understand. You. No, I just, I noticed yeah. that you're, 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 you're kind of nodding a little bit. and Different, words. yeah. You're kind of different. Oh, I'm, you know, this, this is crazy. Okay. This is all. Crazy. I understand. I understand there's probably a lot going on. I'm freaking out. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. So, Jason, so at this point, um, I've got you as the, the person that was operating the motor vehicle at the time of the crash. Okay? The crash actually occurred, I thought you were say, yeah, three quarters of a mile, almost half a mile, three quarters of a mile back down the road. Mm. And I have independent witnesses here that say that when the crash occurred, you made no attempt to stop and you continued westbound on Okeechobee. Like you didn't even know that you were involved in a crash. And the reason that you stopped here was because a gentleman laid on his horn behind you and another gentleman got in front of you and this is why you stopped, okay? And that was the only reason that you stopped, okay? So based on, based on your driving pattern, Hit and run. based on your slurred speech based on the, the fact that you don't recall the accident involuntary you manslaughter you don't know what kind of medication you've taken um, at this point I'm going to ask you for a blood draw okay in order to determine if there's anything in your system which would make you an impaired driver okay so I'm asking will you consent to that blood draw no you're not going to consent to that no. blood draw okay so because you're not going to consent to that blood draw what we're going to do is I need you to step out of the car. See, like, that's what I don't get. I don't know much about the law, but, like, that's what I don't get. Like, you ask me a question, I say no. Now I'm under arrest. I know I don't know much about the law, but my camera's about to overheat, so let me just stop. <laughs>
I don't know. Nope. No? No. Okay. So, hang on for me real quick. All right, yeah. so what we're going to do is we're going to walk over that medical rig. Okay? Now, I'm going to need your cooperation in this matter. Cool. Okay? At this point, based on Florida State statute, we are going to take your blood with or without your consent because you're involved in a crash that involved death. Okay? Ooh. So, we're going to walk over that medical rig and we're going to go do a blood draw. Take hands out of your pockets for me. Thank with you. or without your consent? Don't worry about the door. Don't worry about the door. We got you the door. You walk with me. You got kits? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Put your collector initial and then the date and the time on both of these. That way then I can just seal this up and be done. Hmm? That way then I can just seal this up and be done. Yeah. Refrigerator and now this goes to PBSO. And in, in six months, I'll get a result. What's the deal six with... Six months? Six months. Six probably. months? Now, now you guys get a warrant, we have to draw again? I never heard of that part. So I don't think we're going to draw again. I think I'm just going to get a warrant as okay. like a double fuck you to this guy. Yeah. So, I mean, he's facing 20 years to... Yeah. I mean, right now. Right, yeah. So, and if it's DUI man, which it's going to come back. Yeah. yeah. It's like 25 to life. Yeah. So, yeah. His whole... It, this guy's fucking done. Yeah. His entire life. I'm sure, I'll, I'm sure I'll be seeing you in court. I have to. All right. Jason. All right. So we're sitting in the front seat. Six uh, months? away from patrol vehicle. We are at um, Okeechobee and about a quarter mile from State Road 7. I'm still stuck on a blood test takes six and, months. Um, Who the hell is the doctor? Is Dr. Einstein? An accident that occurred on Okeechobee um, in which you were driving uh, a blue infinity. Uh, at this point, before I ask you any questions, I'm going to read this to you, okay? So, I'm required to warn you before any statement that you have the right, uh, the following constitutional rights. Number one, you have the right to remain silent and not answer any, any questions. Do you understand yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. You have the right to the presence of a lawyer or your choice before you make any statement and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you're entitled to the presence of a court-appointed lawyer before you make any statement and during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, Okay. Any statement can and may be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any question, you are privileged to remain silent. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. To make no threats or promises to induce you of, this sta uh, of a statement, this must be of your own free will. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now that you understand your Miranda rights, do you want to talk to me about what happened at the accident? I'd, I'd like to have a lawyer present. Okay. You want a lawyer before you answer yeah. any questions? Yeah. Okay. All right. At that time, it's going to end my question. So freaking sad. DUI manslaughter. I haven't looked at the comments in a while. So those are the comments. Respect to the witness who stayed se no, seven hours. Is crazy. <laughs> seven hours. Is crazy. No, I don't know where you're finding twenty dollar lip that. I'm just being honest. But no, I understand like get an Uber if you're gonna be drunk, get an Uber. Gave up alcohol five years ago, but decision I ever made. I don't know about that. Dude giving the same looks I really traumatized. No, in fact he should be. Sixty one, bro. That is a crazy way to pass. Crazy way. Anyway, I hope we stayed this long, anyway. And if for the people that did, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I really don't like doing long videos. I think this is going to be like one of my longest videos. This video is currently at 28 minutes. Ooh. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you comment down below what you thought about the video. Thanks, Chris. We signed out. Peace.